Hi, my name is Ren, and as you can probably tell from the title of this video, this is going to be an accepted portfolio video. I will be going over my portfolio and a little bit of my stats at the very end, and I will try to put timestamps in the description. Um, I'm using my laptop for notes and to look at my portfolio, so that's why I'm looking in this general area. So, I applied to six schools, um, early action and got into all of them, early action. And those schools are Pratt, Parsons, MICA, KCAI, CCA, and Pratt MWP. So, um, I will be only showing you my portfolio from Pratt slash Pratt MWP because that is a school I have chosen to attend for the upcoming school year. Um, and it kind of works out because the, my Pratt portfolio was the biggest portfolio out of all of them. And everything from my other portfolios is in the Pratt portfolio. Okay, portfolio time. I'm gonna be sitting over here because I'm gonna try and put the art up on the screen in this general area. So I submitted 19 items. The minimum for the Pratt portfolio specifically is 12 pieces and the maximum is 25, I believe. I think it's 20 or 25, um, but here we go. I tried to organize it Hopefully I'll have it up on the screen, just a general screenshot of what my slide room looked like. But I submitted 19 images, as I said before, and I tried to organize them by medium and then by like what I think is a somewhat strong piece to lead with. And then it kind of gets into like not that great pieces in the middle. And then I tried to end strong. So here we go. My first piece in my portfolio um, is a drawing of a chicken with some pills and it's very bright. Um, the title is GMO and it's four by five inches, so it's pretty small. Um, and I did write in the additional details that it was created for my AP art class and that it was about like chickens and CAFOs, which if you've taken environmental science, you know what those are. My second piece is called Red Fruit. It was also made in 2019, and this is kind of a diptych because it's two separate pieces. Um, they're both, well, the strawberry is four by five inches and the other one is a little bit smaller. Um, and I again wrote about how it's an assignment for my AP Studio Art class. Um, I wrote about how this was, I think Pratt requires four to five observational pieces. And I counted this as an observational piece because it's just straight on fruit. I wrote about how I tried to play with the, the layout of the pieces where it's like the strawberries extremely big on the page where the leaves are super tiny, or I, the pomegranates, I drew them and then cut them out and like pasted them onto construction paper to try and make a new kind of layout. I don't know what the word is, gosh, okay. My third piece is called The House. I made it in 2019. It's nine by 11 inches. And I wrote about how this piece is a color study and a line work study because you can't really see in this photo, but if you looked at it up close, I did tiny like hatch marks all over the grass and lines on the sky. And I wrote how it was basically a way for me to play around with line width and weight and color and just creating a landscape. My next piece is a thumbnail of the next piece that's coming up in the portfolio. So this piece is titled Sweet Tooth. It was made in 2020. It's 11 by 8.5 inches. Each page is 11 by 8.5 inches. And this is a photograph from my sketchbook. Um, and I submitted this image because it's really good to show process and 
I don't usually draw a bunch of thumbnails. Like if I do, it's on scrap pieces of paper, but this I tried to really put it in my notebook and like really try to make a good concept. Um, so I talked about how it's like layout, color study, planning, showing my process. You get the gist. Okay. My next piece is just titled Sweet Tooth. It was made in 2020 and it's 19 by 24 inches, which is the largest I've really worked, which this video will show you that it's fine to work in your own way because I cannot really do large scale. I prefer smaller scale stuff. Um, this piece I wrote about how it was a self-directed piece and it was just about my fear of having anything happen to my teeth. I've had a lot of like dental work done. I wrote that I've had five cavities and um, eight teeth pulled and just braces in general, traumatic experience, you know what I mean. So I wrote about that um, and how I exaggerated the facial expressions. Um, so this was actually a very fun piece to make. So my next piece is titled Rooster Anatomy. Um, it was made in 2019. It's 13.5 by nine inches. And I used a lot of Photoshop on this piece um, what you're like, you're photoshopping your art, isn't that like using auto-tune on your music? And my answer to that is no, you really should go into Photoshop and edit the art pieces you're submitting before you submit them because some of my pieces, I'm not the best at keeping them, so they had a little bit of like smudges on them or like dirt and stuff. Um, and going into Photoshop and cleaning that up will really put you above some other people maybe I think because it shows that you're you really care about how your art is presented um but back to the piece this piece I wrote about how the warm tones on the normal rooster were warm because it's like the live muscly meat part and then the cooler tone is the skeleton because it's the skeleton and that was kind of a lie because it was really because I drew it on two separate pieces of paper and the papers were just two different tones but I brought meaning into it and I believe I put that it was like an observational piece kind of because it's just a normal chicken and it's skeleton okay this is a very bad piece of mine in my personal opinion it's the figure drawing which you will see in pretty much everyone's portfolio um i took oh it's i titled it the figure drawing it's from 2019 it's 19 by 24 inches and it is vine charcoal so i am not very skilled at figure drawing um so in my additional details i wrote that this was done at i did one pre-college before covid and it was at SIC, and I did a figure drawing class, pre-college class. So I wrote that this was 20 to 25 minutes, and um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I feel like most people should have figure drawings in their portfolios. Um, so this was my not that great attempt at it, but putting in that it was like from a pre-college experience, I feel like they'll be like, oh, at least she was trying to take pre-college classes and stuff. Okay, this is my eighth piece. Um, this piece was titled Llama Lamp. It was May 2020. It's 12 by 19 inches. Explanation is pretty boring. It's an observational piece with graphite on Bristol board. And I wrote that I really liked the llama lamp, so I drew it because I didn't want to just draw like a fruit bowl. Um, so I guess that kind of put a little bit of personality into it, or I'm just overthinking it. Um, okay, number nine. This was from my sketchbook. It's 11 by 8.5 inches. I titled it Egg Sketches, and I just wrote about how it's what I do in my sketchbook and how I try to practice figures and I take notes and... 
I wrote that there's a tiny little graph in the corner about why I think spoons are the best utensil, which they are. Um, chopsticks are great too, but spoons, best utensil. Okay. <sighs> My 10th piece is titled A Family Portrait, except I botched the title name. So instead of family with an M, I wrote family. Make sure you double check and read over your descriptions and everything because I had a lot of typos which does not look good to colleges. Luckily I still got accepted but still reread them. So this was made in 2019. It's 8.5 by 5.5 5.25 inches. Um, I basically wrote about how I wanted to do a portrait of myself but I didn't want to do a boring one, but also I kind of liked that like boring, kitschy, like, oh, she's just sitting there for a school portrait. So um, I did a family portrait with my pets. And then I used a scrapbooking piece of paper as like a kitschy wallpaper in the background. Okay, my 11th piece is called Playing Cards. It was made in 2020 and it's 2.5 by 3.5 inches. And that is each individual card. Um, I wrote in the additional details, basically I'm going to sum it up, that I wasn't able to take any summer pre-college classes because of COVID. So I wrote basically how I know a lot of summer cards do like the playing card challenge type thing or assignment where you have to create a playing card. And I was like, oh, that's kind of fun, but I want to do a playing card except it's for like myself and it's more similar to like Pokemon or Digimon or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I just make cards related to me. Okay, so I felt like this piece really just showed that I can work with like Micron pens, Copic markers, and I felt like the concept was somewhat strong, so that's why I use this piece. Next piece is titled White Rabbit. It was from 2020 and it's 14 by 17 inches. I wrote in this piece that this was self-directed and it was more of like a graphic design type project, but I did not have Photoshop um, to use at the time. So I did it on a piece of Bristol board and I did two close-up shots and I wrote about how I didn't have a scanner because of COVID-19, so the photo quality was not amazing. Um, but I felt like this was pretty strong, so yeah. Piece number 13, um, it's titled How to Fold a Paper Crane. It's from 2020 and it's 14 by 17 inches. Um, in the additional details, I wrote that this was a piece basically trying to mix like an instructional type layout with my own aesthetics or what I find aesthetically pleasing. Um, so I wrote about how I use complementary colors and the blue and kind of orange and I tried to do a watercolor layout type thing for the origami papers and the hands and stuff um, and I wanted to give it a minimal effect. Next piece, number 14, I titled Evidence of Self because that was what the assignment I had in my high school class was called. This was from 2020 and it's 12 by 18. This piece, I basically just wrote how I was experimenting and playing around with Photoshop for the first time. And all of the items are like the flowers and the glitter are hand masked and stuff. And like, I wrote about my connection to it because it's like an evidence of self, like self-portrait. And it just shows that I know how to use Photoshop. Number 15, this piece is from 2020. It's called Goldfish Thumbnail and it's 11 by 8.5 inches. If you could not tell, this is another photo from my sketchbook. And it is a thumbnail of You'll see in the next piece, but it's a thumbnail of my first ever, like, actually building a display for my piece. Um, 
and the process I went through and iterations I went through of trying to make that. So number 16 is titled Goldfish. It's from 2020 and it's nine by 12 inches. This is my Parsons challenge. Um, and it is a response to rooster anatomy and like the inside guts and the animals and stuff. And I basically wrote how this piece um, was a response to rooster anatomy. It showed my other skills and techniques of like, I was getting into beading and textiles at the time and how I had a interactive wooden display, which are the three images at the bottom. It's like, hold up, I have it right here. Okay, so it's like, this would be hanging on a wall and like, you could be like, whoa. Not super amazing, but I was proud of it at the time. Um, it has a bunch of cool beading that's fun to touch. Very tactile. Okay. Next piece, 17. Um, titled Spam, made in 2020, 13, wait no, 11 by 3 inches. Um, this piece I just wrote about how like a spam can is cheap and I wanted to make it look super expensive so I did a bunch of beading and embroidery on it um and I think I did get when I was accepted some like handwritten letters from people being like oh from I think Micah and KCI maybe but they were like this piece and your last piece were like my favorite pieces because you like mixed illustration and beading medium, which they were like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah. Next piece is Circle of Life thumbnail, which is, I made this collar and this was the thumbnail for it. Pretty self-explanatory. Named it Circle of Life thumbnail 2020, 11 by 8.5 inches and very in-depth process photo. Next piece. This is my last piece, 19 of 19. Um, I titled it Circle of Life um, 2020, 13 by three inches, which is the size of the collar itself. I have it in this little baggie here. So I tried to end on a strong note because this was, dare I say, my strongest piece, even though I'm going into or I was applying illustration, but it's just a collar and it's all hand embroidered. And I wrote how it like the meaning behind it, the circle of life. It was like a lot of hidden meanings of like, oh, it's a Peter Pan collar and it's like rounded and stuff. I wrote about it in my common app essay um, slash college essays in general, which I will not be sharing, but this was a strong piece because the piece itself was strong and then I felt like the way I edited the photos together was pretty strong and yes so okay I never filmed said an outro so this is me saying thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments or anything in general you can leave them in the comments below or try and reach out to me if you have um, questions about the application process. Don't be scared to reach out. I will respond if you have any questions about applications that I can like actually help with. So again, thank you for watching. Bye.